subscribe and join the Hoho family. Hey guys, so in today's video, we'll be talking about what to expect for first time Japanese Spitz owners. And obviously, every Japanese Spitz is different, so it's not going to be a very comprehensive list on um, things to look out for and all. But um, I'll be speaking from my perspective. Um, I have been a Japanese Spitz owner for 11 years, uh, actually, coming 11 years in August. So my Japanese speed Yuki is uh, 10 years old, 10 years plus plus right now and we've had him since he was about 4 months old. There's been a lot of joy, um, definitely there are times where he makes us um, a bit upset and annoyed as well but most of the time he's really cute and he's really friendly so he brings us so much joy and I can tell you that Japanese spits are really really wonderful to have. So without further ado, let's just cover some of the main points for new owners and if you have any other questions or if I've missed out something else, uh, feel free to comment in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer. Of course, anything related to medical and stuff, I think it's best if you check in with the vet because I'm totally not um, that trained so I can only offer my experience as a dog owner. The Japanese spits are sociable but they also need their own space. I love giving Yuki rubs, hugs and kisses but I noticed that if given excessively, Yuki will start becoming uncomfortable and he will want to go to his own corner. In general, Japanese spits make good family pets as they are friend and sociable creatures. They also have moderate energy levels so they are good with kids. Do bring them out for regular socialization when they are pups though so that they can get used to both dogs and people. I made a video about grooming earlier so I won't go too deep into it. You can check it out in Yuki's playlist. In general, remember to brush their fur as often as you can, ideally at least once a day so that it doesn't get matted. I shower Yuki once in two weeks with dog shampoo so that it doesn't harm his skin. His fur will also be really really nice and shiny. Many spits are more prone to tear stains. Yuki sheds more tears whenever he is overly excited or stressed. There are some lotions to clean the stains but what I usually do is I wipe immediately whenever I see some tears at the corner of his eyes. This prevents them from becoming tear stains. Remember to pet proof your home. Dogs, especially puppies, love to sniff around and may consume poisonous or dangerous items at home. Ensure that there are no poisonous plants around, especially if you have a garden, and try not to keep things within your dog's reach. We have made many mistakes before, for example, Yuki became coffee boy after we left coffee sachets on our table even though there were three layers of plastic and we had to rush him to the vet. We used to have dustbins on the floor too but Yuki would open them up and eat the contents in the bins. Now we make sure the kitchen door is closed so that he cannot go in. Remember to bring your Japanese speeds for regular vaccinations and checkups. Do take note what's their baseline in terms of energy level, the food that they are eating as well as their big business and small businesses. Do check with your vet if you notice anything amiss so that they can receive early intervention. Japanese speeds also tend to have weak joints, especially at their hind legs. Yuki was found to be limping suddenly when he was younger. He would run a bit and then hop on three legs. We brought him to the vet and found about his weak joints. Yuki was on joint supplements and took almost half a year before he stopped limping. He is currently not on supplements now, but we are constantly monitoring his movement and also bringing him for regular exercise. It may be tempting to feed your dog food that you eat especially when you see those puppy eyes. But remember, you are doing more harm than good if you feed them food that has salt or oil. It's bad for their health and may affect their organs in the long run. There are dog food for puppies up to a certain age before you transition them to adult food. You can choose to give them kibbles or canned food. I prefer kibbles as canned food may increase their risk of having dental problems unless you brush their teeth thoroughly. Due to Yuki's bladder issue, he is on a lifelong urine care diet. He has medicated kibbles and is on diuretics. That's all for today's video. If you have any more questions, you can ask in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer. Goodbye!